Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Backwoods Solar YouTube video. In today's YouTube video, we're going to be discussing programming Victron inverter systems with three inverters or less. Stay tuned. We're going to start today's video here in Victron Connect. We're assuming previous to this point that you have each inverter connected to each other with an RJ45 network cable and then each inverter is turned on. Once each inverter is turned on and the network cable is in place, you will find the inverters will go into a alternating blinking fault mode. This is normal behavior to start our programming. Once loaded in, we're going to go ahead and click on the inverter system to start the configuration. Go ahead and click next here. Once on the next screen, it's going to ask for a password. The password's always ZZZ. Here it's asking us to double check our inverter network as we discussed earlier. We only want the MK3 and the inverters being configured chained together. Go ahead and hit next. Once you do, it'll start searching for inverters on the network. In this case, we have two inverters found as we're going to be doing a split phase setup. Here we are prompted to make the decision on what kind of power we want from our inverter system. We have several different options here to choose from and we're going to talk about each one briefly starting here at the top with parallel. This would put all inverters on the network in sync with each other producing 120 volt output in this case. Down below that you can see we have three phase for three inverter systems. A split phase 120 that's utilized for very specific applications. A split phase 180 which is most commonly used for American grid power. Again, a split phase 240, which is rarely used, and then a split phase 180 auto or floating. This can be quite helpful when dealing with three phase services where two of the three phases are broken off for main power, such as campgrounds or other commercial applications. This would allow your split phase inverter system to handle power from a source that isn't necessarily perfectly 180 degrees out of phase. So it has the ability to handle power with mismatch phase angles. I have also found it can fix very specific generator connection problems. This floating or auto setting is rarely used but good to know that it's there if needed. In this case here however we're going to be doing a split phase 180 degree system so we're going to go ahead and select that and then hit next. Now the system is going to ask us to identify and assign each inverter. It's going to start by flashing the LEDs, all of the LEDs of one unit. Go ahead and hit start configuration. You should now see the LED lights of one unit blinking. You're going to go ahead and decide if that's going to be L1 phase or L2 phase. Really in split phase systems it doesn't matter all that much. It's really more important for three phase systems to have proper phase rotation. However, it is a good idea to make note of what inverter is the primary and which inverter is the secondary. You should now see the system do a reset and be greeted with a finish configuration button. After clicking finish, you'll be brought back out to the main device list screen where you should see now the inverter. Very similar to how you saw the inverter when we started this configuration process. However, when you click on the inverter, it will now represent the inverter system as a whole. So once loaded in, you should see both phases or three phases, in the case of a three phase system, load in. Be aware here it is normal to get VE bus errors or unexpected device errors as you can see here in new installations. You can go ahead and ignore that. As you can see now here in the status menu, you can see both inverters represented and both phases. And if we click here on the gear icon and enter our password of ZZZ, we can load in a little bit farther and see both inverters and both phases individually. You can then click on each inverter individually where you can access its settings for fine tuning programming for batteries or other system settings. You can see here inverter number one and inverter number two, their settings individual. We also have a place here to re-enter the system configurator tool by entering our three Z's again and then we can go through our system configuration process once more. And that completes the configuration of three inverters or less. If you had any other questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments below. We do read and respond to all comments. Otherwise, here shortly we will have a video going through the detailed programming of each inverter that would cover 
grid settings, battery settings, and all the basic fine tuning that you would do for an initial inverter setup. Stay tuned for that. Backwood Solar is America's oldest and most trusted solar retailer with nearly 50 years of experience. Head over to our website, backwoodsolar.com, to get a free copy of our planning guide. While you're there, check out our learning center with articles on setup, sizing, tax credits, and so much more helpful information, especially if you're just getting started with solar. There are also links provided in the description.